This episode of Film Rides brought to you by Squarespace and Click It or Ticket. On today's awesome episode, we're gonna show you how to build a DIY jib for around a hundred dollars. I'm in trouble, man. Hello, Joshua. Whoa. Formal greeting. Yeah. Anyways. What is it, sweetness? I have a stalker. I doubt it. What? No, you don't. You haven't even let me finish. Okay, so finish. I have a stalker. Yeah, no you don't. If anybody was gonna have a stalker, it'd be me. Or Brett's hair. No. What? No. Listen. Listen. I'm listening. I have a stalker. Yeah, we covered that. It's getting really creepy, man. It's everywhere I go. Always staring. Just staring. Staring? Yeah, he never says anything. He just stares. I think he wants to lick my skin off and take pictures of it. That is weird. But again, if anybody was gonna have a stalker, it would be me. You have a stalker. That's what I said. But not how you said it. Thus begins the plot of the episode. In the beginning, Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film is made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Ride is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. We're going to be following trying films from pre to post production as we make our latest short film tell. Along the way, we're going to be showing you how to accomplish great effects with little to no budget. And every now and again, we'll be jumping over to Full Sail University to get you advice from the pros. So grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This is Film Riot. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques to go into some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Orion Conley. Now, ever since we did the DIY Dolly episode, I've been getting tons of questions just like this one. Hey, meat chunks. I'm a film teacher for a high school outside of Chicago and wanted to build a camera jib for my class. Would you consider building a jib even though you already have one? Also, any tips on classroom management and discipline would be helpful. Thanks for all the fun lessons. You've become a major feature to my curriculum. The little D-bags are hooked. Kevin. First of all, yes, I will build a jib. Secondly, it's nice to hear you have those little bastards more addicted to me than Heidi Montag to plastic surgery. See, I can be topical too. Thirdly, as far as discipline goes, I find that carrying a loaded firearm and randomly screaming duck does all the work for me. Now first and foremost, these are not ideas wholly original to Film Riot. We spent some time searching the world wide webs to see what other people have done, then took the best of those ideas to make a compilation to show you guys today. Also, I found this. So that was a plus, I guess. Anyway, this jib was built for DSLRs and some smaller cameras like the HP40, but if you want to make it for heavier cameras, just switch from wood to metal and you should be fine. You will actually need a crap load of stuff, but feel free to use different pieces if you think they'll work better than what we chose. You may need to pause here, but I'll give you one more second. Okay, that's enough. First thing you need to do is take one of the one by one pieces of birch wood and the Lazy Susan, then drill four holes and secure the two together. Be sure to push four screws through the holes of the Lazy Susan before attaching to the wood, as you can see here. Next, take the speaker stand top hat, which will fit onto the stand like this but not yet. Attach it to the other one by one piece of wood like so, and drill four holes to accept the screws we have sticking out of the Lazy Susan. Remember? Now secure the two together with some nuts, and you should have this. Then attach it all to the speaker stand. Next grab a piece of six inch angle iron and bolt it to another one by one board like this. Then grab one of the pre-drilled channels and secure it to the same board using the 3 8 inch by 3 inch machine bolts and lock nuts. And this piece should look like this when ready. Then repeat that step again making a second board just like it. Take one of the boards and connect them to the ones you have on the speaker stand by using the angle iron, some screws, and lock nuts. Then add the other board to the opposite side, making sure the metal channels are facing in. Also, we added a piece of wood between them that we screwed to each board for added support. Now grab the two furring strips and cut about a foot and a half off one of them. Then drill holes to line up in both strips. To create the mount for your camera, screw two pieces of six inch angle iron to a three by six inch piece of wood. Now drill a hole in the center of your block of wood large enough to fit the neck of your tripod head through. The head we used was from a $30 tripod Bruno had lying around. 
Now take a pipe clamp and tighten down to secure the tripod to the wood. Next, you'll take some spacers and attach the camera to the furring strip using two 3 8 inch by 3 inch machine bolts and nuts. When you're done, it should look like this. Now it's time to connect the jib arm you just made to the body. Connect each piece of furring strip by pushing a 3 8 inch by 5 inch machine bolt through the first channel, then the strip, then the opposite channel. Then secure it down using wing nuts. Finally, you'll need to be able to add some weight to the operating side of the jib. For this, we used a storage hook, screwed it into the back of the furring strip, and added a sandbag. That's it. Of course, as you can see, we painted ours black to give it a better look, but that isn't necessary. So now just mount your camera and you're all ready to play around with your very own DIY jib. Work, buddy. Yeah. This creepy guy told me to get this to you. Oh. Um. Uh. Logo. Hey, buddy. Hey, Ry. Ah! Did you know, and I'm saddened to say this, that men on average are less likely to buckle up than women? Now, why do you think that would be? I'll tell you. Men must be more prone to brain damage than women. That would be the only real excuse, right? Fecal facial! We're not even moving! Now, it's a sad, sad fact, and I hate to state it because I am a man, but you can start changing that mo friggin' fact. Ugh! Cops will be out in force over Memorial Day weekend. Hundreds of state and local law enforcement and highway safety officials will be out across the nation participating in Click It or Ticket. Okay, that was your last freebie, pal. Next time, I wanna... Oh, God. From May 24th to June 6th, cops are gonna be out day and night looking for you. So make sure that everyone is buckled the freak up. See, you're learning. Oh! Touché. So I don't see your stalker anywhere. Yeah, I haven't seen him in like an hour. I wonder what he's doing. I don't even want to think about it. No, please. Eat your fucking porridge! Yeah, you probably shouldn't think about it. See you later, buddy. Guess I'll wait here till you cut back to me to finish off the plot of the episode. Film right, quick taps! Now, as I told a lot of you online that asked for the DIY jib, I'm personally not a big fan of these due to their lack of stability. I'm not gonna trust my camera on a homemade jib. But if you don't have the cash, building a DIY jib is still a pretty good way to add that extra desired movement into your production, even if that movement is still pretty limited. If you want a professional end result, a DIY jib is not a good alternative to the real thing. Now there's a lot of companies out there that make really good jibs, but my personal favorite is Kessler Crane. They make an excellent product without charging you through the roof. By getting a more stable solution like a professionally made jib, you're gonna be opening your production up to much more versatile and stable shots. I'll even use my Kessler jib for dolly-like shots if it's already set up or if the ground isn't smooth or level enough for my tracks. So if you are gonna go the DIY jib route, do so at your own risk to your camera and please use extra precaution. Film right, quick taps!
he's got a face only a rapist could love. I know. It's getting really bad, man. He's everywhere I go. Today I caught him staring through my window as I changed oh. my underwear. Oh! Yeah. Well, have you tried talking to him? About what? I'm not going anywhere near the guy. I'll just pull a buffalo bill and wear my skin like a freaking coat. It puts the lotion on its skin. I will not. Maybe he just needs a friend. What? Maybe he's lonely, a fan of film right, and is just looking for a friend. Have you thought of that? No. I guess I haven't thought of it that way. Well, maybe it's time to stop being so selfish, self-centered, judgmental, and an all-around awful person. Think of other people for a change. You know what? I will. I'm gonna go talk to him right now. Get out there, buddy. Feels so good to help. <laughs> hey, man. Me and my brother were talking, and, uh... Knife! <laughs> Ryan was wrong! Ryan was wrong! <laughs> Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any other kind of website. And Squarespace, being the amazing team that they are, have built Trion Films an incredible new site layout that we have just launched today. So now I can go in and adjust size, color, and positioning of all the elements of my site without having to know any coding at all. And they've made it insanely easy to keep all my content up to date as well. So check out TryonFilms.com and leave a comment in the news section to let us know what you think. Then jump over to squarespace.com and get your site started. And if you do, don't forget to represent by using the promo code FILMRIOT so you can get 10% off the life of your order. Logo. So that's it for today. And for Josh. So young. Anyway, if you have any questions, you can email them to me at filmwriter revision 3com And if you have questions on the DIY jib, you're going to want to go to twitter.com forward slash brew underscore nose. He was the mastermind behind the DIY jib, so that is the best place for your questions on that. And of course, don't forget about the Facebook. I'm just going to feel a little lonely now that I won't have the pitter-patter of Josh's little feet running around. <laughs> but I'll see you in a better life, my friend. I'll see you next Thursday. But now, instead of outtakes, we have a little memorial to Josh. Again, this time it's real. <laughs>